I wasn't expecting it. I was surprised. I got connected to medical care right away, yeah. um, and so that was critical. It's been 23 years since Murray Joe's Burbridge got an unexpected diagnosis. Back then, there was higher stigma and not as much awareness and education surrounding HIV. Since then, the number of new cases has gone down, but public health says it's still staggering. We see about 400 newly diagnosed uh, HIV infections every year, so that is more than one a day. Toronto's chief medical officer of health says between 15 and 25 percent of people with HIV don't know they're infected. He's hoping to tighten that gap, recommending expanding Ontario's testing strategy, which includes diagnosing HIV earlier, especially those who are at an increased risk. More people should be tested more frequently, uh, that we should be introducing testing on a more routine basis uh, so that people don't necessarily have to be identified or come forward and say, you know, I'm a person who's at risk of HIV in order to get an HIV test. About 27,000 people pass through the doors here at this hassle-free clinic each and every year. It is one of the busiest anonymous test sites in the entire country. And one of the reasons why places like this are so vital, it's because the positive HIV test results here are about three times higher compared to your average clinic. So it clearly attracts high-risk people. We have to look at some of the reasons why people don't test. Since the Supreme Court of Canada's disclosure ruling in 2012, people living with HIV now have a legal duty to tell their partners. Some worry that could be turning people away from getting tested. If they have a positive HIV test on record, um, then uh, someone might, you know, a relationship ends and somebody might then come back and say, well, you didn't, you didn't tell me and I'm going to charge you with mm -hmm. HIV non-disclosure. Those recommendations still have to be brought to the Board of Health and the Board will be taking a look at those on Monday. Andrea Puno, City News.